Hey guys, welcome back to The Walking Dead. Today I'm going to continue playing The Walking Dead. People are asking me where's Retro Saturday, where's Retro Sunday, or whatever you're planning to do, JQ. Well, unfortunately, my RK has been acting up lately, and I don't know if you see my previous Mighty Morphin Power Ranger gameplay. I, I My machine got, you know, busted, and I can only play with it for half an hour until it kicks me back to the main screen, so I'm trying to avoid that, unfortunately. But my best friend Jose is coming over to see if he can fix it today. Hopefully I can get back into the retro gaming. But other than that, I'm going to just play some Walking Dead today. What's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. If you let yourself heal up, take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents, if you don't mind me asking? I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. They died. That's tough. I, uh, I lost my folks, too. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Wow. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What uh, happened to him? I killed him. He got bitten, protecting me. And I had to kill him before he turned. Wow. I had to. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch, and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. Couple fresh brookies for dinner? Hmm, wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> now continue eating your ramen noodle, Clementine. You're still here. We got a problem, bitch. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Why well, don't I'm gonna fuck with your mind right now? Whose baby is it? Excuse me? If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth. You should probably think about being nicer to me. That's just my advice. Oh! You be a fucking problem. You got what you came here for. Now go. Damn, you put that bitch in her place, Clementine. That's how you talk to bitches like that. Mm. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. She's all talk. 
She doesn't scare me. She was in a mood last night, that's for sure. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. My friend Lee taught me. That's good. It's important nowadays. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Really? No way. Hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Cause you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well I didn't know that. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. You should tell him that. Uncle Pete! You sound like a bitch. <laughs> Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Ah, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs. That much I know. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. This one's shot too. Through the head? Yeah. Yep. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky dink pissing match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself! What if someone's alive, Nick? Who cares? Cause they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You wanna be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess, just like baiting a fish. I'd be more useful with a gun. I don't doubt it. At some point, you guys have to trust me. Hell, I trust you. 
But not everyone's at that point yet. Give them time. Look, just keep your head on straight. Same deal. All shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. Damn it. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. Hey, that's my butt bug. with what happened to her please tell me tell me please Feed you some water for you to tell me what happened to my friend, son. <coughs> now speak, bitch. Thank you. Ah! <coughs> Pete! I'm fine. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Lurkers! I'm out of ammo! Bitch. Damn it! You get your asses over here, both of I'll you! I'll cover you! We gotta get out of here! I don't like you. God damn it! Can't you listen to me once? Just come on! Come on! Jesus! <laughs> Climate time. This is why you're awesome. And all these other characters are useless. about four five more days to reach those mountains we ain't here to rob nobody just relax and put the gun down man i thought you were dead and that's the end of episode one season two of the walking dead so hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Like I said before, I'm trying to get the arcade back up and running if I can do Retro Saturday and Sunday. Hopefully Jose can fix it up today and I won't have any more issues with the arcade anymore. Also, starting Monday or Tuesday, I'm going to start a new thing on my YouTube channel called JQ's Adventure. I'm going to be traveling around the New York City area and Queens, like Flushing Park, Times Square, Rockefeller Center. Record, you know, the good parts around New York City. 
just walking around having fun just talking shit as always hopefully you guys stay tuned to watch them other than that please comment and subscribe to jq's world and i'll see you very soon take care have a good night